everyone, today I am going to discuss the global items that you will save in your library. Saving your items globally makes it easy for you to reuse a module, section, or row that you have formatted on different pages of your website. In this tutorial, I will use a text module. You may format the text depending on your design, but for now, let us leave it as it is. To save your item in the library, click on the element that you want to use. Then the settings box will appear. Click on the three dots and choose save to library. Give your global item a name. Turn on the Save as Global toggle button. You may also add your global item to a category. Once you are done, you may now click the blue Save to Library button. You may notice that your settings box will change its color to bright green. That means it is already saved in your library. To add items from your library, click the plus button to add a new module. Since we use a module to save in the library, we need to add a module. Similar to row and section, where if you save a row to the library to use that item, you need to add a row. Moving forward, navigate to the Add from Library tab. Choose the item that you want to use. Click the three dots on the bottom right of your item and choose Use this module. Remember, if you have made changes to your global item, it will affect the same element that you use on your website. But if you just want to use the same element from the library and edit it on a specific page, all you need to do is to click the three dots on your newly added item from the library and choose Disable Global. To explain this, you may use the same module, row, or sections that you have saved from your library, but you can edit the elements without affecting the format of your global item. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions to discuss about DB, you may leave a comment below and I will try my best to create a tutorial or demo for it. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video and thank you for watching.